Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, see, you're just like Stevie. You know, see them are watching a 4K and a 3D. You know it good, you know. Girl, I watch you like cinema. Say she won't get a kid in your ass. Yes, so blessings, blessings, my people, blessings to each and everyone. Just a check in, come to give you guys some updates. Hope everybody being blessed here, blessed as our with first time over the Just Black TV. Just press the subscribe button for free, notification bell, all you not even have to make a call. Well, peeps, you don't know new week, new beginnings. So, for those who went out this morning, now watch and listening, just Black like Stevie, just let the Almighty be praised because I am a Lenten our days. Well, peeps, just like up the video, please, and thank you very much. Really appreciate it. Just like the video for push it up in our YouTube rankings. Also, you have to watch a complete video for really know what I'm going to Jamaica. Yeah, we have some nice updates right now. Uh, so, where I go bring, yeah, you know, you have to watch a complete video. Blessings. So we are going to kickstart where police are reporting that a curfew will be imposed in the community of George's Valley, Manchester, following Sunday night's deadly gun attack on 53-year-old Carlton Lewis. Right, my people, also have that man photo here for share with you guys and the update. So a police source told the news team that the curfew will start at 6 o'clock p.m. on Monday and end at 6 o'clock p.m. on Wednesday based on the recent spate of violent crimes in the George's Valley community and its environs. The division's intelligence investigative arms have conducted inquiries, investigation, surveillance, yes, surveillance, exercises information has so far revealed that the recent spate of violent crimes in the community is because of interpersonal disputes between rival gangsters the source said right so northern boundary bordered by new hall district from a roadway at woodlawn george's valley at the northern boundary 1142 meters along an imaginary line to the section of roadway at richmond right my people yeah, so these are the boundaries I'm going to give you guys Oh, the curfew I'm going to carry out. So eastern boundary, bordered by Richmond District from the roadway at Newall District at the northern boundary, 1,128 meters along an imaginary line to the road at May Day, main road at the southern boundary. Yes, so southern boundary, bordered by May Day District from the main road at May Day District at the eastern boundary, 1,246 meters along an imaginary line to another section of the roadway at May Day District, Mandeville, at the western boundary. Right, my people, so now check and see where I go on. So, Western Boundary, bordered by Mandeville area from the roadway in the vicinity of Mayday area at the Western Boundary, 1,153 meters along an imaginary line. Yeah, my people, Jesse B, so it are going around that side. Right, so the imaginary line to the roadway at Woodland Judges Valley at the northern boundary. So persons are reminded that during the hours of the curfew, all persons within the boundaries of the curfew are required to remain within their premises unless otherwise authorized in writing by the ground commander. Right, my people, so that I go on, what I go on, Rona Judges Valley. You know, where, you know, a big 53-year-old man killed. Well, you don't know. You got the photo for share with you guys, as we don't mention earlier. On. Yes, I right? So, we just going to try and move over now to our next update. Yes, we are constable allegedly found with contraband in Westmoreland lockup. Yeah, my people. So, a police constable attached to the Withorn police station in Westmoreland has been slapped with possession charges after he was allegedly found with several contraband items while on cell guard duty over the weekend. Right? So, that I go on, you know. Yeah, man. Them are the biggest criminals. Yeah, and them are broke out. They get to youths, them. Oh, for ton criminals. Yeah, because they must feed the criminals. So, peeps, medical doctor suspended family still as questions. So, a medical doctor who worked at the An Anata Bay Hospital in St. Mary has been suspended for one year. This after he was found guilty of several charges of medical neglect by the Medical Council of Jamaica. The matter relates to a patient who died while he was treating her. But the victim's sister is alarmed that the autopsy was not a part of the police investigation. Right, so look at the screen. This is the dead vic the victim. 
Yeah, you know. So we just have to say right now, peeps, this looks sticky. You know, sticky, 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 sticky. But we are going to move over now, peeps, to where a bartender killed while eating Sunday dinner. Yes, yeah, so a 54-year-old bartender was shot and killed in his yard by a lone gunman while he was having his dinner on Sunday, May 26. That is Christopher Brown, a resident of St. Mary. Right, my people? Yes, yeah, so if you want more of this, you can just go over to the Jamaica Observer. I'm just going to give you guys the main ingredients. Yes, right? Yes, a big 54-year-old you know, bartender, you know, people. Yeah, man, the man dead while the man eat him Sunday dinner. You know. Just as a judge, are the serious. You know, the business people, them now have no, now no chance again, man. Yeah, man. You have to have one of them do things. So, Bada Cat Brother, yes, in the red kerchief on his head. Yes, and the other is Fata, right, my people, in the red hat. Well, the two dead. Yeah, man, two dead. Just to be, and it come like, you know, one dead apart from one. Recently at two. So just as a condolences goes out to all. So peeps, a motorcyclist died as a result of injuries he sustained during an collision with another motorcyclist on the Winston Jones Highway in Manchester on Sunday night. So he has so far only been identified as J. Right? And just as a Jassy B, the serious, you know, the man dirt, you know. The man just collide with another bike man like himself. So peeps, three shot and injured near Meadowrest Cemetery in St. Catherine. So gunmen shot and injured three persons at a grocery shop near the Meadowrest Memorial Garden Cemetery in Fraser's Content, St. Catherine on Sunday. The incident happened at 5.10 p.m. A motorcycle with a pillar. Yeah, my people reportedly pull up at the shop. Both men dismounted and walked towards the shop. They then allegedly brandished handguns and opened fire, hitting two men and a woman. Right, my people. So, remember, me did the update and things. So, this are the follow up. Just to make you know, so we're on track. I will not bring no fake news. Yes, sight? Yeah, we just to do the right thing. So anyway, people, we're going to move over now, yes, to the news where we at, where me just had to tell you guys early on about. This is the man who got shot and killed in George's Valley, Manchester. Right, my people, and a couple chest shot well in pick up your sight. Yeah, man, so the update is saying that police are probing the murder of a man in George's Valley, Manchester, on Sunday night. So police named the man as Carlton Lewis, 53, a resident of Woodland Heights, George's Valley, in the parish right my people yeah i don't know him dead and i saw no curfew jump over that side and curfew i start from six today and i end wednesday your sight yes 6 p.m so peeps yes i move over with a pastor man and church brother upon a beach a hide and a do it upon a rock stone well look at the screen yeah my people pastor and brother so you must know, say, yo, you yeah, hear yeah, me, pastor, them are some dangerous cool you know, people. Moving over again, peeps, we a senior medical officer in Manchester died. Yeah, my people. So, Dr. Peter Wellington, Dr. Wellington died on Sunday, May 26, after a period of illness. The former SMO spent more than four decades in public health, primarily. Yes, my people, at the MRH, where he served from 1976 to 2015, released from SRHA stated. So, peeps, if you really want to get more of this update, yeah, you can just go over to Loop News. Yeah, man, for really know how, where this money has come from and how him set him legacy to live on your site. So, just as a condolences goes out to the family, friends, and loved ones, you know, of uh, this senior medical officer. Right, my people, yeah, man, who did Manchester a great job, you know, just to be. But anyway, my people, I just saw it going, you know, yeah, him being hill for a period of time, so you don't know him just kick the bucket. I just saw it running, everybody have to chat the road, they want to have life and still living, you know, unless somebody come take your three points. But anyway, my people, are you go, you know, take your own treats. But people, you don't know the whole measurement. Yeah, we do enough talking. You don't know me start. Get to the walking. So you guys just share your comments in the section below. Please stay safe. Just like up the video. Share with your family, friends, and loved ones. Yeah, man. And if for the first time over here, man, don't forget to summon. Me not charge your site. 
yeah man you know for you know dial nothing just one press and go so peeps you don't know i am out blessings to the people with the east west north and south up top And them for no side, Ja Ahmeds, representing for Just Blex. Just Blex tell them say prior works. When the heathens are trying for you, was he a dire hurt? The most I alert, if I them alone, them alone. Yeah, man, Just Blex, you don't know your success getting them upset, you know what I mean?